You told Officer Romero that you confronted Molly Tibbetts on 385th. Is that correct? Yes. You never mentioned two other men. Is that true? Correcto. Correct. You told Officer Romero that you were angry at Molly Tibbetts. Is that true? I think so. You agree that you saw Molly Tibbetts on 385th, correct? Yes. On July 18th of 2018, correct? Yes. You also indicated to Officer Romero that Molly Tibbetts became angry with you, is that correct? Correct. That Molly Tibbetts threatened to call the police, is that correct? Correct. You never mentioned two other men to Officer Romero, is that correct? Yes. All right. You claim that you went to a cornfield where Molly Tibbetts' body was placed with two other men. Yes. These men had their faces covered? Yes. They were wearing sweaters, you said? It, it was similar to a sweater. So long sleeves? Yes. Uh, and long pants? Yes. And uh, what was covering their face exactly? A type of hat. Like a stocking cap? Something like that. So whenever you get to the cornfield, you're in your vehicle. Yes. There's no other vehicle there. Not that I saw. Whenever you left the cornfield, you left alone? Yes. The other two men that were there, did they just walk back? They ran towards the road. So they ran towards the road and just disappeared? I, I didn't see them again. I don't know where they went. So you drove these two men out to the cornfield, correct? How's that? I don't understand. You drove the two men in your Malibu to the cornfield where you dumped Molly Tibbetts, correct? Yes. And you're telling us that you drove back to your home alone? Yes. And you happened to find your cell phone and the keys in the trunk of the car? Yes. And these two men just disappeared? That's right. 